Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be buttoning up the go-kart project, prepping, painting, doing some wiring, and seeing how this thing runs. Please like, subscribe, and come along for the ride. Uh, we have a lot of cool things going on the channel. Just got a cool old vintage trolling motor, uh, lots of vintage chainsaws I plan on getting running here over the winter, Geometro convertible project, and you best believe anything I see on Marketplace for a decent price is going to end up in the back of the truck and it's going to be over here. So stay tuned for that. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. The kill switch on the motor here. Uh, it's just grounded to this cover, and it looks like it's an 8 mil, and I brought out a 10. But, I brought out a pair of pliers also, so hopefully they work. Oh, it's too tight. So this on-off switch is just grounded to the cover here. I believe this is an oil pressure module. If I read right and so this goes down into the engine here and there's an oil pressure sensor here so if this thing tips over it's supposed to shut this off right now the way it's grounded is it's just crimped onto the switch don't really like that so I'm gonna run that um, I'm gonna splice a wire on here and run that over to here I have this gnarly copper wire I actually got this copper wire it was tangled up in a rope that I found on the side of Lake Erie no joke Anyway, there it's looped around there. Cut this piece of wire off to go in here. I'm gonna strip it. I think it's a 10. Just kidding, it's an eight. Okay. All right, well, that popped right off there, so. This is the ground coming from the switch right here. So I'm just gonna cut this off and I'm gonna splice that copper wire onto here. All right, that should be pretty good. That's the ground there. And then here's the ground coming off the motor. I'm going to clamp these, but for demonstration's sake, I'm just going to wrap this around here like this. Back over on the motor side, I'm pulling apart this little green thing here. All that I want is this yellow coming off of here. So I'm just going to snip that. Now these wires are going to squeeze right up into this connector, like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the ground and stick it in here and I'm going to take the other side of the ground and I'm going to stick it in here and then 
I'm going to take this thing and I am going to clamp down on here really hard. I'm fairly happy with that connection. So here's the kill switch. So it's a little bit rigged because of this butt connector and everything and whatever's going on under this electrical tape, but I'm going to pull these wheels off. And we're going to paint this thing in here. coat of paint still gonna have to flip it over and do the other side but turned out pretty good decided to leave the motor on because it was really hard to I had to put angle iron across here because my holes didn't line up for a predator motor and it was really hard to get it in alignment with the sprocket so I decided to just leave it on and tape around it it won't be painted under the engine but that'll be fine that done now I just have to do the other side of this one and both sides of the other one why are we all seeing better days I'd say
Steering wheel turned out pretty good, I'd say. Brakes are all right. There's a little bit of overspray that happened there, but. the ground wire which I ran I ran separate wires from the switch in the ground and I ran the ground back to the engine because the engine isn't really tied to this frame so I didn't want to didn't want to tie ground to the frame and ground is also ground is also two wires in here
Alright, the go-kart's done. Finally. <laughs>